Greetings, you guys. Let me fix my chair here. It's not quite right. There we go. All right. How's it going? My name is John Jackson. I am a professional snowboarder. Had too many cups of coffee today. Um, I've been snowboarding for a long time. I'm kind of old now. Um, but uh, I'm still doing it, and I'm very thankful for that. Been snowboarding professionally for like 18 years, something like that. And um, it's something I got into it simply by loving what I did. Just, I didn't even do it, you know, as a career back then. It was just something I loved to do. Didn't think it was going to turn into a career. I was just obsessed with it. And uh, um, that's, I didn't even want it to turn into a career. It was just, it was just something I did, and then it started kind of slowly bearing fruit, and I started getting some free stuff, and started getting paid, and a little bit, and at that time, all my friends were going off to school and doing the typical, you know, <clears throat> go to school, get married, have kids, and um, I kind of just have always gone on my own path and did whatever felt good to me, and, um, you know, just kept marching to the beat of my own drum, and here I am now. Um, it's been amazing. I'm very thankful for it. Um, it hasn't been easy. Um, it, you know, it's been a lot of challenges as far as getting sponsored, sponsors cutting you, um, no security in the job, lots of injuries. Um, I've injured myself uh, quite a few times, and that's just something where um, I just I just look at like, hey, this is you got to be positive about this. Um, this time you're going to use as best as you can. You know, I'll be like, okay, here it is. I'm, I'm here. Don't get mad. Even if I've got a blown knee, all my sponsors are going to drop me. I'm just going to go up. Like, I'm going to use this time to learn something new. Devote this time to something that I usually wouldn't. And, uh, and that's helped me a lot. That's really helped me come out um, stronger and learn new stuff and it's just like it's just like right now with the COVID thing you know all this all this all these setbacks and we're not able to do what we want to do but there's a lot of stuff we can do that might even be more valuable than what we think we should be doing um, so yeah it's been a crazy road just you know and I'm, I'm still a student of the mountains um, they have taught me so much. I'm so appreciative for everything they've given me and my ability connect, to connect with Mother Nature. Like my, my eyeballs, my, my ears, my nose, my taste. Um, you know, all these sensations that we have built into us can sometimes become a little dull, you know, in modern society. And I think being in the wilderness, especially by yourself, is, is the best way to just like s open your eyes and see these things that are so beautiful and perfect and you're just like wow I don't I don't need anything else um but uh I'm going off on tangents I do that a lot and that's not what I want to talk about here I want to talk about my personal um vulnerabilities and weaknesses um being injured you know isn't really the that's just something you go through but personally for me um, okay, so I think all of us, me, you, them, all of us have these God-given gifts. You can, I, I think they're God-given. You can say whatever, but they're talents. They're, they're inherent, personal, individual gifts that um, we all have them. They're, they're different. They're different sets. And they're beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of trying to tap into those gifts. And, you know, for me, I always want to live up to my full potential. I, I um, kind of struggle with contentment sometimes and like rest. I'm always going, 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 always want more, always want the best, always want to do my best, always want to, you know, leave the project as good as it can be done. And uh, that's okay. I'm thankful for, for, that characteristic in me, but um, a lot of times it's it's good to have rest and it's good to have contentment and to be like, okay, just be, just be, just. Um, um, but 
uh, I'm see going off on a tangent here again. The the <clears throat> the gifts that that we hold my 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 struggle in tapping into those um, is for me. I'm always looking for acceptance or approval from the crowd around me. Like sometimes my my true self, my personal, my my individuality doesn't really come out because I'm operating at a lower level. I'm I'm like looking for acceptance from those around me and being like, okay, make sure not to say the wrong thing. Make sure to blend in. Everything's gonna be okay. Like, am I doing the right thing? And that is just I'm I'm realizing that's not the best way to be. If you want to live up to your full potential, um, tap into those gifts. Tap into your your own self, your own glory with no ego, with no concern about those around you. Um, um, you know, if, if, if we're always looking for like, huh, is this okay? Am I fitting in? We're, we're never going to tap into our, our true talents, our true beauty and our, our true love. Um, I kind of, I'll tell a quick story. I kind of realized this, um, one time when I went down to a friend's memorial, it was a really powerful story for me. And um, the night before, it was in Crowley where I grew up, and I went to this spot, um, one of my favorite spots that I go and camp. Um, it's it's the geothermic creek that's closed. Um, however, we always used to go there, you know, growing up. And uh, and so I know I know the area, and I still kind of go in there at night, and and you know. It's so beautiful. It's such a powerful place. Um, so anyways, I get down there at like midnight. Hadn't gone in the creek for years. And um, it's very active. And, you know, it's it's geothermic. It's volcanic. There's there's activity there. So it's kind of like use caution. It's, it's uh, maybe a little sketchy. So I'm going in. I'm like, it's like midnight. It's dark. Um, the moon was, was behind the valley, so it was totally dark, but it was almost a full moon. Um, but I'm in this gorge. So I go down in there and I'm kind of like tiptoeing my way in the water and you can feel the water rumbling. You can, you can hear it burping up and I'm like getting closer to the source in the middle of the creek. Okay. Look at that's how much of a rambler I am. My freaking SD card ran out of juice. No more room. Just kept on going. So uh, deleted and now we're back. So in my story, where was I? So I'm crawling into the water. I'm like listening for any bursts of, of you know, in, unstable activity or like, you know, whatever. And I'm getting, getting in deeper and deeper. I can feel it. I'm just like, okay, I get across the cold current and then I get into the, the warm water and I'm just like, wow, oh, this is, it was so perfect. It was so beautiful. Nobody, nobody around. Um, and, and just like, I kind of was having this experience. I was like pretty deep into prayer and, you know, like I said, I had just lost a friend and, and so I'm kind of like, he was, he was actually my old, um, pastor and I was really close with his, his sons. And, uh, and so naturally, you know, I'm kind of like asking a lot of questions and just, you know, like really you know, lots, lots of stuff going on. Um, but asking, you know, about his teachings and, and, um, how it was up there, you know? And so I'm in this water by myself and, and I'm kind of just like have this feeling of like, wow, this is such a powerful place to be. This is, this, this water is like fueling me. This is charging my batteries. I am strong. I'm like there. I could hear coyotes out there. I'm there's you know mountain lions around. I they, rarely, but I'm just like man. You are the most powerful person in this here. This this there's no animals. Nothing could kill you. Nothing could destroy you. But this water could swallow you up. This mother nature, where you are in this powerful place, it could just swallow you up and I'd be okay with it. You know, it'd be like, that's okay. But my primal instinct, I was like, I was like, you are the most powerful thing around here. Nothing can, nothing can touch you. And with that, I started getting this, you know, 
uh, this this humility and this 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 gratefulness to be in this in this sacred mystical place and 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 it was telling me that like you don't have anything wrong with you you are you are strength you you are exactly the way you're supposed to be and even though all my little things in my head of not being good enough and and you know needing to do better being angry like all all these things that I I'm like discontent in myself or feeling like like I'm not worthy it's like this 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 experience was just showing me that like wow you have everything you 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 are strong like this water this is this is like like this nature you're part of it and so uh and so then I start I start chanting and I start kind of like oming like and I start going all quiet I'm like and then I'd like look around and be like is anybody there like anybody on the ridge looking out and then I'm like man who cares like you're never gonna tap into your strengths if you're worried about those around you what you look like and and so I'm just like let it out so I just start like and like having this it's like spiritual experience that was coming out of me just like with the rumble of the water and all this crazy stuff that I, I was, it was incredible. And, and then, and I like through all this, I'm just like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for my being. Thank you for who I am. Thank you for this experience. I'm so grateful. And, um, and I'm kind of like asking questions <laughs> and stuff. And as I'm in the pool, this freaking blue heron, huge, you know, stork crane comes flying right over my head. And these things don't let you get close to them very often. You know, they'll watch you, but they're very aware. They, they uh, keep their distance. And uh, thing flies like real close over my head, does a loop around the pool, and then comes and lands like 15 feet upstream from me. And at, by this time, the moon had popped over the ridge line, and so it was completely bright, and I could see him perfect. And he's like looking at me, and I just was like, Whoa. I didn't say anything. I just sat there quiet. And for like a few minutes, at least two or three minutes, we just sat there and stared at each other. And then I kind of chuckled, and I'm like, huh. how's it going, buddy? And the bird was like, wow. It lets out this little squawk, and I was like, oh, "How is it up there, buddy?" And he does two squawks, like, bah, bah. and then that was it. And then the thing flies off back up the canyon, screaming like, bah, 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 like a pterodactyl. And I was just like, "Oh my gosh, that was such a cool experience." That was like, that, there's a lot of ways for me to, a um, lot of things I took from it that I won't go into because this is becoming a 15 minute video but um it was a really special experience more moral of the story is like we we are whole we are like we have all these all these negative energies that come in or or like you know society tells us we're not good enough but man we're whole we're 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 perfect and we have different sets of gifts so tapping into those is just like they're there for you you just you just reach in and and uh, practice and and uh, don't be concerned about the crowd around you don't be concerned about you know what you might look like or what you might sound sound like it's just you are beautiful you are glorious like tap into your own glory love yourself that's another thing I struggle with sometimes the self-love um, because man it, it like give yourself pats on the back be go easy on yourself um, Okay, that's a super, super long story, but I guess um, I could go on for days. Um, you guys, I love you. You are strength, power, glory, love. Oh man, like so much encouragement. And uh, I, I'm really glad to see what the Courage Project is doing. And I would love to meet up with you guys. So as soon as all this freaking COVID passes over, uh, we'll go do something fun. Hang out. All right, cheers.